What's going on, everybody? Level M Diecast here, flipping the script on you just a little bit. Uh, we're going to do something super cool today. This is a Matchbox Military Playset. Military Police Headquarters. This is from 1993. Comes with uh, 13 pieces. Fold-out playset. Was originally priced at $4.97 from Hills. Don't have those here in Colorado, so I'm not really sure where those stores are. But they're not here. There is some deets on the back. There were three separate sets you could collect, each one with an exclusive model in there, the Abrams, the Mission Chopper, and then, of course, the Jeep Wrangler 4x4, the Tyco era, good old Tyco era. So this is taped on one side. This happens to have no tape on this side. So we're going to get this box open. We're going to build and do the whole thing. Slide it out. Comes with some instructions because there is a ridiculous amount of stickers. So this is the giant sticker sheet. So we'll see how the stickers go if we want to sit there and do all the stickers in real time or not. You have one package of materials there. And then, of course, the model on the top is just in some cardboard. Looks like it has those little things on there that I'm not a big fan of. So I think what we'll do is oop, almost damage that. Don't want to damage that. Let me get the cardboard out of here. So I can get to the little twisty ties. There are the twisty ties right there. One, I have a buddy who uh, saves these so that he can build himself some dioramas. So every once in a while I do try to save these, but for the most part I just cut these off because they drive me nuts. So there we go. We'll get our Abrams out of there. And then we have our Abrams out of there. We'll get this tape off of here so that we can get this off of there. Oh, man. It's quite the packaging. Get this out of here. We'll leave our box. So these guys are held in by an additional piece underneath here, which of course is all taped up. So there we go. We'll just get that separated. Get all of our gunners and whatnot out of there. There we go. These are some pretty significant figures too. Pretty, pretty beefy. All right, we'll get that out of here. There we go. Save these little things. Take a look at our model real quick. This is the M1A1 Abrams. Uh, this is exclusive to this particular set. It does have a mark on there, EB6-3 with the star. Um, it sits in the package like that, but that is actually incorrect. Um, they are always packaged like that because of the barrel being too long to fit in a blister. So they just naturally package all the Abrams like that when they used to do it. The gun has limited movement, but turret does rotate 360. Of course, it's camoed up. There is the Dietz made in Thailand. Abrams main battle tank, it says. It is 1 1 13th scale. So that looks pretty good. like that pretty good. Tank's pretty nice. All right. So this is the whole entire shebang in a bag. One single bag. So we'll get the tape off of there. There's going to be a bunch of little accessories in here as well as building the thing itself so we have like a bomb or something like here very interesting probably tell us what that is uh, this will probably connect to other play sets of the day kind of similar to hot wheels there's little standalone signs a few of those giant gun big huge turret here looks pretty good another connector this is the front of it, which is nice. The doors are already attached. I'm glad I don't have to attach the doors. These are the base pieces. There is a uh, in, encampment for the gun. So we'll get that snapped on there real quick. There we go. A little tripod. And then we have an outpost sign here. We'll get some stickers on that. Another one of those guys. So we'll just go ahead and see how this is assembled. So 
looks like we'll assemble it first and then put the stickers on afterwards. So this is our base piece. And this one will be in the front. Looks like, like that. And then this one in the back like that. And then you'll have two pieces here to hold it all together. Uh, I guess it's universal, I guess they don't really matter. Oop. There we go. Set that down so we can get this. Okay. Hmm. Struggling. So it doesn't look like either one of those pieces are different, but you definitely have, um, I guess we'll put it in the um, top part first. Maybe that'll help. Hmm. go hmm. I guess they are directional and then here is the front part which will just slide into here and then be held in there we go now that piece will now go down on here which it looks like this one's supposed to be the front. Put this one in the back. There we go. All held together now. Now we just got to figure out the stickers. So, looks like right here we'll have star star and then the door door swings so we'll go ahead and take our first sticker put it on there take our next sticker i feel like this would have been easier to do before assembling it but it shows just to assemble it Push that on there. Just keep it going. Stickers might be a little crooked, but it's good. All right, looks like we're gonna have the giant sticker on the top. This big, huge one right here. Which will be essentially for a helicopter port. The die cut's not very good on that one. There's no uh, spot for it, so we'll just kind of put it on there. I don't anticipate it'll stay on there for very long. Let's see what else we got going on here. So on this side, it's going to be doors with this dude. Which is going to be this sticker. So we'll grab this sticker off. Put that on there and then on the other day other side is going to be the guy with the radar symbol be that one right there so we'll go ahead and throw that one there okay and then we got this banner this is 41 which will be right here on the top which is actually several stickers Oof, this one's going to be a pain in the butt Yeah, this would have been way better to assemble this. <laughs> or way better to put the stickers on before assembling it. That one's a little crooked. That's fine. That's fine. It literally says to assemble the whole thing before you put it together. I guess you weren't supposed to put it on the base, though. But that's fine. Now, they're equally crooked. They're equally crooked. Oh, there we go. I'll take it. 
Take our little star symbol here in the middle. Uh oh. go get that one on there get this last one underneath there we go so not too shabby those are perfectly crooked with each other it's, it is what it is all right so it doesn't show a sticker on the top here very interesting there's no sticker there uh, so this has stripes on both sides, the little stickers, and then the 41. So it's actually going to be these two stickers here, which are pretty small. Kind of the flag banners for the outpost. Do this other one real quick. It's a little crooked, not that big a deal. Now we just got to get these on the doors. So first one is going to be on the right side. Just, just number one, pushed on there. And then we'll do number four. There we go. Okay. So, and then 41 goes on the sign, both sides of it, which is right here. Try to get this straight. It's good enough. You gotta remember, guys, this is meant for kids, you know, not for collectors. I mean, you're not gonna put this in a military diorama per se, but maybe you might, maybe you might. So there we go. And then let's see here. The giant sticker goes on the front here with the little battle damage on there. So this is a very large sticker. Again, the, the die cuts are a little bit deep on these, but you know, it's okay. Ooh, this one's gonna be very difficult. I'm trying to do this on camera for you guys. There we go. Goes underneath the stairs there a little bit. There we go. I get that without air bubbles in it. Uh, a couple of bubbles. Not that big a deal. There we go. All right. And then the last stickers on here are these. So we're just going to pull these off. Uh, these go on one side of each one of these little barrier pieces. So put one on that one. One on that one. Then the last one, we can throw our sticker sheet away because we're done. And we'll put the last one right there. All right. There is our military post headquarters. Let's see if I can get that to slide in there. Hmm. If you're supposed to, it's pretty loose. If you're supposed to fold it and put it in there. Well, it's kind of what you get right there. It doesn't go any further down in there. The notch is not big enough. So there is that. And then, of course, you do have your sign that attaches to the front. These are the little pieces that kind of just push onto there with some friction so you can add other sets to it at some point in time. So there we go. Bring our tank. Tank kind of just comes busting through. This is some type of bomb of some sort. Not exactly sure what it is. It just kind of kind of chills. Just kind of chills there. And then of course you have your your tripod up here, so you can defend your post. These are your little stay away from here. Uh, these are the figures. This guy, you know, pretty. Big, burly, muscly, you know, this 
totally 90s with a automatic weapon, of course. So you got him defending. Uh, this guy is more of a encampment position. He's got his own uh, gun on a tripod. He's just kind of chilling, ready to take some action. So maybe he'll get things that direction. And then there's this guy who's wielding a, another weapon by himself, kind of stanced with some binoculars. So they don't have anybody to actually man this particular gun, but that's that's okay. I think that's okay. So there you go. That is the military police headquarters. So let's put that there. I guess you can't even see those guys. Let's put those guys down here. Pachink and pachink. Gonna get that centered on the screen for you a little bit. So there you go. Something kind of different, something kind of unique, I guess. So there you go. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know uh, if you had these when you were younger, if they were your thing or not. Um, obviously, they don't really make military police stuff nowadays. They don't make military anything nowadays because the world is kind of broken right now. But anyways, glad I could bring you that. That is going in the collection for sure. That's why I bought it. But I wanted to put that together just to showcase it for you guys. And then, of course, it just folds up, throw everything inside. Not that big a deal. It is what it is. So let me know what you guys think about that. Thank you very much. Love them. Take care.